Hello YouTube, this is my queen's eye back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, everything is greatly appreciated. Something could have um, took place in Sagittarius Capricorn season. Somebody try to could have tried to do something to your um, your beauty, your money, your love, life, or something like that. But whatever they did, they got some kind of karma with it. With this Uranus here, and whatever they did, it's just about to make it expand. Here, it's about to make it grow. Somebody could have tried to do something um, with your stability also for a year or so, and it backfired very, very quick. Or quicker than expected. We got Libra here with the justice. Somebody could have um, Venus and Libra here. Or somebody, somebody, somebody's Venus. Okay, so for some of you, I'm going to have to get this out before I get my parent. Somebody is something here with court, <laughs> with the with the scales here. And it's about to make you glow up. You're about to glow up here. Let me um get a prayer in. Most high loving ancestors of my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to center tenfold. Thank you. And with the Sagittarius right here, with this Jupiter and the Venus, this is just giving me um, temperance energy. Like whatever... Whatever somebody was trying to do to stop you or something like that to get you caught up even the Capricorn with that devil energy, it did nothing but make you grow. So it's like they slowed it down to speed it up. You see what I mean? Like I said, somebody could have did something that they wanted it to last for a year for you and it backfired way quicker than expected here. Mercury here. There's some talks going on here. Some communication. Somebody could also be getting karma for things that they did say. But that court situation with the Libra, the scales. <clears throat> Somebody could have even like lied and said, made up a story about how you make money or what you're saying. Okay, so people have gotten caught up here in the courts about their communication here. For some of you, it's about a death here. People have gotten caught up here. And whatever they did, it it had like your stability, like that Venus energy that's giving me divine feminine energy and has given me that it had your name all the fuck in it. And this shit is blowing up. Somebody was trying to do another a domination spell or something on a court case for you. And that shit blew up in a face. And somebody is now getting caught up. Mercury with this Scorpio though. It's so interesting that this is out here and I'm just sitting here um, thinking. Earlier, I got the conversation is about to be different here. Scorpio with this Mercury energy. The conversations are about to be different. Whether that's you moving into a new chapter in your life or whether it's these people um, admitting to something. like The conversations are about to be different. 
I mean, clearly, because if people was lying at the courts about you and all of that, that's mercury, that's communication. So if you've been lying, you're getting ready to, have to tell the truth. The conversations are about to be different. August 15th is significant. For some of you, whatever this situation is, whatever this communication is, it's about to be no more here. Neptune, Sun, with the Cancer here. Somebody could have been um, speaking on how you are as a parent, as a mother, as a lover. And that shit is coming out. This Neptune gives me high priestess energy here with the sun behind it. That came out earlier. The sun with the high priestess. You've enlightened people to some things here. Uranus, unexpected changes here. Oh, way. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini or a Scorpio and a Gemini is involved. Somebody's birthday could be 15 or 8. Take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> Let me get some Kipper on this. With this Neptune too, it's like, like it's giving, it's giving, it gives me high priestess. But with the Mercury out here, it's like, I don't know. It's giving Seven of Cups energy because Neptune with the Sun here is like something's been illuminated. The Libra here again. Somebody's going to be speaking on, oh, hey, this is, this is mediumship here. Scorpio, Neptune with the Mercury. And I just said Neptune gives me that high priestess energy. Scorpio, that's death energy. Mercury is communication. Yeah. Oh, we false person with the sudden wealth. Listen, <laughs> August 11th could be significant. November 8th. Damn, we for damn sure got the eight right here on this Scorpio card. Somebody was trying to get a Scorpio or a Gemini caught up in some shit here, and it's reversing. Something's been illuminated here. Something's been illuminated about who somebody is or who people are or what they've been saying here. They they're a liar. <laughs> they're a liar. Like you're very enlightened. Neptune with the sun here. Then we got a pathway. If these was people that were saying that they know how to communicate with the dead, they're getting a message of concern. Because if these is people that's been working with the courts, oh yeah, I know how to talk to the dead and they can tell me this and they can tell me that. Guess what? These motherfuckers not able to, to connect. See, when they was doing all that domination spells and all that bullshit, they was able to connect. They not able to do that shit no more. And motherfuckers in the courts, they need information and they don't have it. Message of concern here. So guess who's leading these people that need this information, guess who's leading them? You and all your person here with the official person at the bottom of the deck. Damn, this person really on they shit, y'all. <laughs> Somebody thought they hit the fucking jackpot here. But they got it by a false 
advertising, false, whatever, <laughs> statements, whatever they were saying, writing down communication is all of that. Text message, phone calls, social media, all of that. I don't know why I'm picking up a tell all, like a book, a tell all. Kim Porter. Okay, Miss Kim. Confirmation. Ooh, we. Oh, <laughs> listen, I honor with the despair, with the thief here adjudication. And I just mentioned Kim Porter. Now, y'all know who she's, I don't want to say affiliated because she's no longer here, but you know who she was dealing with. And people tried to make it like, oh, something mysteriously happened. No, motherfuckers took her up out of here because she was telling on motherfuckers. And now the motherfucker getting caught up in a whole bunch of other shit. You see, I told y'all a minute ago, I did a reading about seven months ago now where I said it's coming from the horse's mouth. If a whole bunch of shit came out in that reading about celebrities getting exposed with these parties and these orgies and all that shit, that shit has come out. It's come out. So it's like, if this is regarding Miss Porter, and and who and who she was dealing with, it's like, okay, you took the person that was gonna gonna write it all, right? To tell all. You took you tried to take her up out of here, or you took her up out of here, and the shit still blew up in your face. Cause now extra shit is coming out. So if this is somebody that got money, motherfuckers that don't have it, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen to you? You're definitely gonna get the fuck exposed. Because you're trying to get sudden wealth by a false means here. Message of concern for these people. Whoever they are, whether they celebrities or not. Whether they officials or not. They getting a message of concern. Imprisonment here with the family room. Jewish lady, house, child here. Expectation, wealthy man. Okay. Oh, we. People going to prison here. They're going to prison. And you're going to be writing off. Privileged lady, house, child, expectation, wealthy man here. Yeah, whoever this main female is, they're going to fuck the court. Maybe it's a group of them. Lovers here with the concern, too. <laughs> These was people that was trying to keep you from um, whatever belongs to you and your bloodline here, your family here. This sudden wealth could be inheritance. This is what I'm talking about. That's that gift. You having to gift the mediumship, that's a spiritual gift. It was passed down to you. And motherfuckers were trying to take it and they, they don't have they they don't have nothing no more. Message of concern. Hold on. These motherfuckers is asking themselves, are we tripping? No, you ain't tripping. You're getting caught the fuck up. These people was trapped. The Horizons wanted to come out. We got expectation here. They might as well wait on that shit. Imprisonment with this family room. Whatever they've been doing or discussing or something like that. That shit is done. They getting trapped. They caught up. I 
I did a video a minute ago. Your ability to read the thoughts of others has people shook. <laughs> oh, we. For some of you, you can do it with both. With the dead and those that are living. So I'm saying with the living with the mercury because... This is like people that can talk now, that can speak now, that are living. And it has them shook. Because if these was people that were saying you was passed on, right? And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm talking to this person. And they're telling me it's this person. They're telling me it's that person. They're here. They're there. They've been sending motherfuckers on a goddamn goose, or a goose chase. And here you are, Mercury, probably online, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, take how it resonates, TikTok. And you're giving officials answers to the questions they've been asking these false ass people here. Journey, mature man, despair. <laughs> Oh, wait. Let me tell y'all something about the dead. Unexpected income fell out on the floor. Let me tell y'all something about the dead here. When you playing with the dead, one that's a no-no from the rip. It's, let me just clear that right here. That's a that's that's a no no. But when you're playing with the dead, and they need justice for what for whatever injustice happened to them, and you're not giving it to them, they're gonna go fucking mad. Understand that shit. They're gonna go mad. Message of concern. Hold on. This person was saying that they was this divine feminine or this divine masculine and we've been trying to get justice for what happened to us and they're playing the fuck around? Message of concern. Hold up. Let's do a little bit more digging. See, motherfuckers think because people no longer hear that they don't have, like, that they don't exist. It's the spirit. And I said a minute ago, the spirits of, of individuals that was taken out in an unjustified manner, they're haunting these motherfuckers. Because they, they claim themselves false advertisement. To be somebody that could help, that could communicate with the dead. They know what they're doing. Ah, ah. But you're not. Message of concern. And these motherfuckers is getting caught up here, their track. Got the mirrors coming out. There any adjudication here? March 10th could be significant. October 30th and October 3rd. It's so crazy because the thoughts is right here. And the first thing that came to my mind was tower. Tower. Got the gift with the concern, bad health, unexpected income. Oh my God, I thought I was going to get that. No. They're caught the fuck up now. 
So if this was a couple or multiple couples here that was saying that they were you, you and your person here, these people had you in a false marriage, a false contract. I just heard null and void. That's a tower. It's like, damn, we were supposed to do this for another fucking year. We would have had the money. We would have been on. People would have thought we was this. And we'd have just been getting them too. No. No. It's not how they go. March 30th. Tomorrow is significant. And I said the thoughts with this with the 16 the tower here. Whatever this journey is that you had to um, go down here with your person, whether y'all was separated or together, you take it how it resonates. It's over. It's over. Lovers, concern, at health, sickness, and in health. That's what I just heard. Somebody could have received some type of document with your um, original name. We got mature woman coming out here. That could be uh, that message of concern, too. Because now people are looking at that document like, well, hold on. <laughs> concern right here at the bottom of the deck. Well, hold on, false person. How do you say that you're this person? But it's we have other information that says they're not here. Motherfuckers don't be thinking, yo. Tay, don't be thinking. How is it that you are this person, but they're not here, but this individual is saying that they're they're them or they're you or something like that? How is that? Somebody gonna be stuttering. Occupation here. Somebody looked all into you, yo. They could have found out you was working, uh, like certain addresses you lived at. Like they found out a whole lot of information that motherfuckers was keeping from them, yo. All for them to take something that don't fucking belong to them. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Great fortune. This is what they wanted. This is what they was trying to take. Somebody has a home, a home based business. They're losing clientele or lost clientele. Because something's off about them. I got the cough in here. Four men, distant horizons, lovers. What people need to just understand that they're going to fuck the jail or they're about to be in their coffin. It's one or the other. And you're about to be living your life here with your person, married, happy, all of that. Probably working from home. You take it how it resonates. Because whoever your person is, this official person, they don't have to deal with being around uh, untrustworthy people. And neither do you. <laughs> 
People have to understand that shit. You're not trustworthy. You're not genuine. So you keep trying to fight for something or someone that's not yours. You're making yourself look extra goofy. Extra. You already look goofy, but you're making yourself look extra goofy. Because whoever this official person is, they're a man about their shit, and you are a woman about yours. Not these people, though. False person with the thief out here. Not them. Change here. <laughs> Somebody's getting ready to get something up. Somebody's getting ready to change. Somebody's getting ready to move. Somebody's health could have got bad here with the bad health. Somebody's definitely going to have to surrender something, yo. <laughs> but I just said, conversations are about to be different. Well, I ain't really know it was, well, you say you ain't know, but you said you knew. And you were so sure of that. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, because you really realize that spiritual gifts are real? Spiritual inheritance is real? If you ain't a part of this shit, you really don't have it, so you had to do it by false means here? That's what changed? No, you already knew that. You just thought you could Manipulate your way. Ooh. Somebody could have served eight years for something that they didn't do. They about to get freed. Got courtship here. Unexpected income, high honor here. Something about within 30 days. Something unexpected. For some of you, you could get some unexpected income within 30 days. For some of you, that's what these people was expecting, but they're getting imprisonment here. Karma, death. Worry, sickness. <laughs> that stress, that shit will kill you too. But some of you, you're really about to move here. You're about to move. And when you move, you may go on a vacation here or a honeymoon here or something like that. Mm. What else here? This may not be long. I got this mean mail popping out. With the gift, <laughs> it almost wanted to come out in the reverse. January 17th is significant. January 19th is significant. We have the distant horizons. Is this right here? Despair. 
So I didn't want to say it. That's why I asked what it was. So it's a main male that's about to be. It it could be um oh we oh we. That's why you can't fucking play with the dead. You can't, you can't, um, say like, oh, you know, they're not here anymore. And then I, you know, I know they watching over me. You say shit like that because you know that this person is dead. And then you say, oh, I know this person is watching over me. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Because you know they is spirit now, right? These motherfuckers was not using their brains at all, yo. This shit is crazy. These people is not using their brains. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Somebody was knowingly passing some shit out here, man or woman. It could be the individual or individual I was speaking about earlier regarding Miss Porter here. <laughs> you just take how it resonates. For some of you, this is people that you know. People was taken out, like I said, in an unjustified manner and then probably was blaming you. But you actually have the gift here. The, the, the inheritance was actually passed down to you. And motherfuckers was lying saying they was you. That probably put them in a coffin. How oh, sweet. How oh, sweet. And then people coming for you. Talking about, yeah, such and such said your name. So I had to come for you. And guess what you do? Because you that fucking gifted. Because like I said, you know how to talk to the living and the dead. At least read their thoughts. <laughs> or we. And guess what you did? You checked every motherfucking body. Everybody. Because then it was message of concern. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Is this person really dead? Like, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is like, like fucking going cuckoo. Because they did not do something with integrity here, with morals, with respect. They are so disrespectful, it's trifling. And now you the problem because you illuminating the truth? Fuck them then. <laughs> Fuck them. They be all right. This main female fell right on top of this main male gift. Distant risings with despair here. But they tried to say it was you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody was told to give you a... Um, a check or something like that. Ace of Swords, I crack open the deck. Somebody didn't bring it to you. They want to get caught up for that. Or that's what's coming out, like coming from the horse's mouth again. Okay, so this is like a continuation. Because six, seven months ago, you may not have known a lot of the individuals that was doing this bullshit. So here we go. Here we go. And now the conversations are going to be different. Oh, but um, yeah, uh, but hold on, damn, hold on. What did they say? Uh, you don't know exactly what the fuck they said.
But what did you say? See, this is how people do. Like when you go to them, wanting some fucking truth and clarity, right? <laughs> they not going to give it to you, but you going to get it though. See, other people, they not going to get it. You going to get it though. Because people know who you are. They know the gift that you have or the gifts that you have. That's why I said message of concern. Somebody did something just in this past Sagittarius Capricorn season. And that shit blew up in the face. Quicker than expected. Somebody was either expecting to be with you or your person here and had them trapped all up in this shit. Nah. <laughs> I just saw the Ace of Pentacles too. Some of you, this is an opportunity that's about to present itself where you're going to be able to speak the truth here. And if it's been people that's been like, you know, changing their, their conversations up and shit like that, their communication, they've been switching that shit up. It's like, shit, I got to tell the fucking truth. Now, this bitch know too much. Well, as you stayed in your fucking lane and mind your business, <laughs> but you know, people always have a point to prove. And don't have no fucking proof of nothing that they've been saying. Don't have no proof. Looking fucking goofy. Because you're going to always be who you are. <laughs> always. And they don't know how to deal with that. With the Nine of Swords here. Five of Cups. Damn. I done fucked up. I missed out on my opportunity. Well, you was just sitting there waiting for that shit to fall in your lap. Thinking it was going to make it easier by you lying and stealing and killing motherfuckers. No. It just makes you look extra goofy. How could she or he ever? Four of Cups. Damn, I missed out. People not ever going to have another opportunity with you ever again. But some of you, these people is being rejected by the individuals that they had go up against you. Okay. I'm telling you, Seven of Swords, they recanting this shit. They was holding back by lying. See, omission is lying as well. <laughs> you know the truth and you still going to lie? But these, these is people that we supposed to be considering smart or up on a game? The fuck? Where? How? Sway? Somebody about to get pregnant. I keep picking that shit up. We got the strength card here. You're very powerful. And you're very feminine. That's what gets people too. It's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. It's like you send like a shock through these people. Something about... um, I don't know. I heard coded, but resuscitating something about that i picked that up a minute ago and the video was called do not resuscitate well of fortune here <laughs> mm. hey. For some of you these motherfuckers thought they was going to Die knowing the truth without speaking it first. How, Sway? 
Ace of Pentacles. Then y'all see that Five of Pentacles peeking through. Mm, 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 mm. And then be like, but, 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 but. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups here. Like, Five of Swords with the Hangman. These people hung themselves. You gave them just enough rope. For some of you, you knew this shit and you gave them extra. Fuck it, here. You like hanging yourself? Here, here you go. It's something about the way, like, you get answers out of people, too. A lot of people don't know how to do that. But it doesn't mean that they don't be on their shit. It's just you are really, like, built different. You're really, like, cut from a different fucking cloth here. I did a video like that, too. And it be the, the smallest thing, though, right? right? Like, somebody be talking, and they know they lying they ass off. Trying to trying to get around, like, well, like, it's, it's giving, like, stop asking a question with a question. Like, answer the fucking question. Did you or did you not? Yes or no? You're very intelligent here. This Ace of Swords with this Empress, you're very, very fucking intelligent, yo. Very intelligent. For some of you, you just automatically make people confess. Because again, they already know who you are. <laughs> they already know who you are. So even these sneaky still conniving motherfuckers is like, okay, you okay, okay, let me get let me give you some more fucking rope. <laughs> you see what I mean? Let me give you some more rope. Like the shut the fuck up energy. Like, you understand? Because you're a fake, you're a fraud, the false person, and the seven of swords is out here. Five of swords, come on, you're caught. Stop trying to get out of that shit because you ain't going to get out of it. Especially if you involved in this shit. They're not getting the fuck out of this. They going to have to clear your name. Because you actually know how to communicate with the dead. Like, you actually know how to do that shit. You probably be busting it the fuck up, because I know I do. We be singing in here and everything. So y'all just, y'all just, you know, like, damn, oh, such and such passed away? Listen. <laughs> and then you got your haters. This is why they're trapped in the illusion. <laughs> Because they really, they, they really did not believe that you had this gift. Even though they was told. They was told from the rip. Ace of Swords, they was told from the rip. Hey, listen. This, 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 and that. This is what could come out of this. But understand that if that shit don't work out, that shit going to hit you hard. And motherfucker said, shit, I can get away with that. I'm, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. These, some people knew when to back out of a situation here. But because, like I said earlier, for some, they just had a point to prove. And they just proved that you were telling the truth the entire fucking time. That's all the fuck they proved, yo. That's all they proved. Whether you the emperor or the empress, man or the woman, it doesn't matter. Judgment with the Six of Pentacles here. Somebody's about to get cashed out. And somebody's going to need some fucking assistance. But you take it how it resonates. 
If people are coming forward, speaking the truth, being accountable, kudos to you. For you other motherfuckers, understand? Imprisonment or the coffin here. It's one or the other. Or you're just going to be fucking homeless out on the street. One or the other. Now who going to ride for you? Who going to be there for you? Because the way you go into prison is justified. The way you're getting up out of here is justified. You not having nowhere to fucking eat, sleep, or shit is justified. That's your karma. Magician with the three of cups here. With the star energy. You're being celebrated. I just told you you'd be busting it up. Y'all be chilling. You getting the truth from them because the dead don't have no reason to lie. And they need a motherfucker like you that ain't going to lie. You gonna speak the truth. And it's killing everything for these people. Everything. So these motherfuckers can still live in La La Land if they want to. But you really gonna be out here happy. <laughs> Living in bliss. Being able to go on trips. Spend time with your family. Doing what you want to do. I mean, shit. It got to be balanced, right? The only difference is you spoke the truth and was able to get this accomplished. Do you understand? You didn't need to do no extra shit. You didn't need to say no extra shit. You said what the fuck it is or was, and you left it alone. Something about billboards. I was picking up um, a minute ago, too, like the Hall of Fame with the star energy. Or you getting some type of award or reward or something like that. But you want to have every fucking reason to celebrate. Every reason. Just by you having integrity. Just by you having morals. Just by you being a fucking good Samaritan here. Temperance. All in divine time. All in divine time. Will of fortune. I'm trying to do what? To get what's yours? Damn, you gotta do all of that? Damn, I thought you really had the motherfucking gift though. You really got the gift. You don't gotta do all that shit. That's what you showing people. <laughs> Damn. These motherfuckers been lying to me all this time. This, this, go over here sipping with this chick. This chick over here with this nigga. I done got all caught up in this shit. Yep. Yep. Guess what? They can't blame you. <laughs> they can't blame you. They can't do it. They been got the message. They been got the warning, though. But like I said, they had a point to prove. It's clear that y'all had to prove a point. <laughs> People harming kids and shit. <laughs> they deserve the, the fucking coffin, too. Kids? Whether you ask for it or not, a child? Hmm. 
But want to lie on you? Want to smear your name? Solid. They been got the warning. Message in the bottle with the regeneration. They been got the warning here. You just been in this poised, happy, happy energy. Because <laughs> you know, with this TikTok and the change in the wind, with the time to go, you knew this shit was about to be over. Like, you really just have to let people learn the fucking hard way, yo. You have to. Because even when they seeing the shit, the towers happen in their life, it's like, wait, this ain't true. This person is doing magic. No, motherfucker, it's called karma. It's called karma. Only fair. This to be fair, it's only fair. You did the healing. You did the work here with this regeneration. Because you, you listen. You know what I mean? <laughs> you listen. You said, hold up. What the fuck gonna happen? Oh, uh-uh. Let me make this right. Let me, let me, let me heal the bloodline here. Let me get us in order. To be fair. I gotta heal if I want peace. <laughs> yeah. If I don't have no peace, it's cause I ain't healed. Yeah, pretty fucking much. See how simple that shit is? But understand, the process, it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy because you really got to sit with yourself. And the shit that you've done, <laughs> the lives or hearts that you've hurt, that you've broken, you got to sit with that shit. So people got... 30 fucking years of karma on a bat. That's a lot of fucking healing. You ain't want that though. That's why what you've been manifesting is about to come into fruition here. And it's only fair with the 38 breaking down to an 11. <laughs> you was trying to be peaceful. You was trying to be fair. You was trying to be just. You was trying to give people the message. Hey, don't look at it like this. Try to look at it in a good way. They ain't want to listen to that. Because they feel like you ain't know what the fuck you was talking about. Now motherfuckers seeing this shit happen in real life, in real time, in their own life. And it's like, oh, fuck. Damn. Orphaned. And you over here blessed. Treasure Island here with your family. <laughs> oh. It's only fair. It's only fair. So, guys, that's the end of the message. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.